Kitaka is a style of play in football characterized by short passing and movement, working the ball through various channels, and maintaining possession. The style is primarily associated with La Liga club Barcelona from Joan Cruyff's tenure as manager to the present, and the Spanish national team under managers Luis Aragona Copyrights and Vicente del Bosque. Tkitaka moves away from the traditional thinking of formations in football to a concept derived from zonal play. Origins and Development The late Spanish broadcaster Andra Copyrights Montes is generally credited with coining and popularizing the phrase Tkitaka during his television commentary on La Sexta for the 2006 World Cup. Although the term was already in colloquial use in Spanish football and may originate with Javier Clement. In his live commentary of the Spain vs Tunisia match, Montes used the phrase to describe Spain's precise, elegant passing style, estamos tocando tkitaka tkitaka. The phrase's origin may be onomatopoeic or derived from a juggling toy named tkitaka in Spanish. The roots of what would develop into Tkitaka began to be implemented by Joan Cruyff during his tenure as manager of Barcelona from 1988 to 1996. The style of play continued to develop under Dutch managers Louis van Gaal and Frank Rijkaard and has been adopted by other La Liga teams. Barcelona's Dutch managers made it a point to promote from their youth system and Barcelona's La Masia Youth Academy has been credited with producing a generation of technically talented, often physically small, players such as Xavi, Andra Copyright S. Iniesta, Cesc Fabregas, and Lionel Messi. Players with excellent touch, vision and passing, who excel at maintaining possession. Pep Guardiola managed Barcelona from 2008 to 2012. Under his guidance, Tkitaka reached new extremes. This was partly due to Guardiola's visionary coaching, partly due to an exceptional generation of players, many of whom had been schooled in La Masia's idiosyncratic style, and partly due to Barcelona's ability to sustain intense pressure on the ball. The 2005 update to the offside law was also a contributing factor. By forcing defenders deeper, the law expanded the effective playing area, making players' size matter less and allowing technical skills to flourish. Under Guardiola, Barcelona's Tkitaka shared Dutch total football's high defensive line, positional interchange, and use of possession to control the game. It departed from its Dutch roots by sublimating everything to the pass. Guardiola played a centre forward as a false nine to keep the ball moving fluidly from different angles. He played the full backs higher. He selected midfielders in defence to exploit their passing ability and he forced the goalkeeper to play the ball out from the back. Rafael Onigstein describes the Tkitaka played by the Spanish national team at the 2010 World Cup as a radical style that only evolved over the course of four years, arising from Spain's decision in 2006 that they weren't physical and tough enough to outmuscle opponents, so instead wanted to concentrate on monopolizing the ball. Jed C. Davis football coach at Oxford University and author of Coaching the Tkitaka Style of Play believes that Tkitaka football is among other things, a conceptual revolution based on the idea that the size of any football field is flexible and can be altered by the team playing on it. In possession, the formation should intend on creating space and therefore making the pitch as big as possible, and the opposite when not in possession via Valerie Lobanovsky's full pitch aggressive pressing. Pep Guardiola is famed for saying you win the ball back when there are 30 meters to their goal not 80. Tactical Overview Tkitaka is above all, a systems approach to football founded upon team unity and a comprehensive understanding in the geometry of space on a football field. Tkitaka has been variously described as a style of play based on making your way to the back of the net through short passing and movement a short passing style in which the ball is worked carefully through various channels, and a nonsensical phrase that has come to mean short passing, patience and possession above all else. The style involves roaming movement and positional interchange among midfielders, moving the ball in intricate patterns, and sharp, one or two touch passing. Tkitaka is, both defensive and offensive in equal measure a euro the team is always in possession, so doesn't need to switch between defending and attacking. Commentators have contrasted Tkitaka with Route 1 physicality, and with the higher tempo passing of Arsene Wenger's 2007 a Euro 08 Arsenal side, 
which employed Sesk Fabregas as the only channel between defense and attack. Tkitaka is associated with flair, creativity, and touch, but can also be taken to a slow, directionless extreme that sacrifices effectiveness for aesthetics. Notable success Tkitaka has been used successfully by the Spanish national team to win Euro 2008, the 2010 World Cup and Euro 2012, and by Barcelona, which won six trophies in 2009. The formation also allowed them to win 2008 a Euro 09 UEFA Champions League and 2010 a Euro 11 UEFA Champions League. Sid Lowe identifies Luis Aragona copyright's tempering of Tkitaka with pragmatism as a key factor in Spain's success in Euro 2008. Aragona copyright's used Tkitaka to protect a defense that appeared suspect. Maintain possession and dominate games without taking the style to evangelical extremes. None of Spain's first six goals in the tournament came from Tkitaka, five came from direct breaks and one from a set play. Below, Spain's success in the 2010 World Cup was evidence of the meeting of two traditions in Spanish football, the powerful, aggressive, direct style that earned the silver medal-winning 1920 Antwerp Olympics team a nickname La Furia Roja, and the Tkitaka style of the contemporary Spanish team, which focused on a collective, short-passing, technical and possession-based game. Analyzing Spain's semi-final victory over Germany at the 2010 World Cup, Onikstein described the Spanish team's Tkitaka style as the most difficult version of football possible, an uncompromising passing game, coupled with intense, high pressing. For Onikstein, Tkitaka is a significant upgrade of total football because it relies on ball movement rather than players switching position. Tkitaka allowed Spain to control both the ball and the opponent. In women's football, at the 2011 FIFA Women's World Cup, the Japan women's national football team employed a form of Tkitaka under coach Norio Sasaki. They upset hosts Germany and the United States to win the tournament. Criticism Journalist Guy Hajeko from Ibrisphere argued that Tkitaka is not entertaining anymore due to the lack of pure strikers in the Spanish national team and their use of a false nine or a midfield player as a forward. This makes the game of football full of midfielders and no strikers or defenders. Jeco claimed, with no strikers, no defenders a Euro no goalkeeper, perhaps, just eleven technically blessed midfielders merrily passing the ball around until someone walks it into the net. After Celtics 2-1 defeat of FC Barcelona, under new manager Tito Villanova, in the 2012 a Euro 13 UEFA Champions League group stage in Glasgow. Ben Hayward, a reporter for ESPN and football website Goal.com, criticized Barcelona for their lack of attack and their inability to find an attacking alternative when things were not going their way. Hayward pointed that the defeat was reminiscent of the game when Barcelona were unable to score against Chelsea, when the Blues defeated them by employing a set of predominantly defensive tactics to win 1-0 in the semi-finals of the 2011-12 Champions League at Stamford Bridge. Jose Copyright Moreno has criticized the Spanish national football team for using sterile techniques, such as having no strikers and only midfielders. And Arsenal manager Arsene Wenger had said that the Spanish football team had changed their philosophy, less attacking and more negative saying, originally they wanted possession in order to attack and win the game. Now it seems to be first and foremost a way not to lose during Euro 2012, a competition Spain had won. Others believe that this lack of emphasis on the offensive leads to fewer goals, and the endless passing is boring. Countering Tkitaka, many teams have devised various ways to combat this strategy, in more recent times with considerable success, but it cannot be proven whether these results are more due to the strategies or the lack of competence of the Tkitaka practitioners. In the 2010 semi-finals of the Champions League, Jose Copyright Moreno's Indonesian AL players denied Barra section a space as they double marked Messi and prevented Xavi from achieving a successful passing rhythm. Inter won the first leg 3 a Euro 1, and then lost 0 a Euro 1 to advance on aggregate 3 2. Guardiola's Barcelona faced 52 different teams and managed wins against all of them except Chelsea. During the 2009 Champions League semi finals, Chelsea, 
who are managed by GUUS Hyde Inc., used a solid, compact, and communicating defense to force Borough Section A to shoot outside the penalty area as well as having defender Joseph Copyright Bursingwa, helped by center back John Terry and defensive midfielder Michael Essien, man Mark Lionel Messi. This worked as the first leg was a 0 a Euro 0 draw at Camp Nou. The draw ensured Chelsea were the first visiting team that season to keep a clean sheet in Borough Section A's home stadium. In the second leg Chelsea were up 1-0 and Talandra copyright S. Iniesta scored in stoppage time to level the tie at 1 a Euro 1 and let Borough Section advance on away goals. Chelsea manager Roberto Di Matteo succeeded in countering Takitaka when his team met Borough Section A in the semi-finals of the 2011 Euro 12 UEFA Champions League. According to Chelsea's Fernando Torres, concentrating on space rather than trying to steal the ball was part of his squad's strategy to counter Borough Section A. Winning battles on the wings, such as Ramirez against Daniel Alves, would force Borough Section A to funnel their attacks toward the centre of the field. Former Chelsea winger Pat Nevin noted that stationing three disciplined midfielders in front of the back four defenders denied Barra section a space, forcing Lionel Messi to withdraw deeper and narrower to get to the ball. During the second leg, Di Matteo deployed a 4 a Euro 5 a Euro 1 formation with a very compact midfield structure. While Barra section enjoyed 73% of ball possession over the two legs and 46 shots to Chelsea's 12. By contrast, Chelsea's Frank Lampard completed two telling passes in the two legs, both of them leading to goals. It has been suggested that Borough Section A's weakness offensively is winning balls in the air, especially against a team like Chelsea that has the size and strength to control balls in the box. Chelsea achieved a 1 0 0 victory in the first leg and a 2 0 2 tie in the second to overcome Borough Section A. Kitaka's weakness was exposed when Bayern Munich defeated Barker with a score of 4-0 in the 2012-13 Champions League semi-finals and 3-0 in the return leg. Bayern Munich's head coach Jupp Hanks had built upon his predecessor Louis van Gaal's foundations making the team more defensively balanced, while replacing van Gaal's positional football everyone had to stick to their specific space on the pitch when attacking the opposition goal with a much more fluid and attacking style that gave the forwards freedom to roam and swap. In the first leg, Barra section enjoyed 63% possession but Bayern had 11 corners to Barcelona's 4 and had 9 shots on goal to Barra section A's 1. Bayern's Bastian Schweinsteiger and Jvi Martinez held a compact midfield that played crucial roles in shutting down the Blaugrana's Xavi Hernandez and Andra copyright S. Iniesta attempts to pass forward but midfield, while Arjun Robin and Frank Reba copyright LY proved effective on the wings. Bayern's first half tactics involved fake pressing, pushing close to their markers in possession to drive Barker away from danger areas with sheer presence, while conserving their energy by not committing themselves, keeping Bayern's players fresh enough for the second half to mount attacks. Though they had managed to outscore lesser opponents, Barcelona's defence was vulnerable as the absence of centre-backs Carl's Puel and Javier Mascherano robbed the team of physical presence to guard against set-pieces which Bayern exploited. The Guardian proclaimed that some suggested Bayern would attempt to outplay Barcelona at short-passing football, but ultimately it was a perfect recipe of Barcelona's traditional problems, set-pieces, counter-attacks and physicality, that will lead many to suggest the balance of power has shifted from Catalonia to Bavaria. Kitaka was again exposed when Brazil defeated Spain 3 0 in the 2013 Confederations Cup final. Brazil went to face Spain, the current world and European champions, for the first time in a FIFA tournament in nearly 27 years, making Brazil the first team to beat Kitaka with pressing attack, sealing their fourth Confederations Cup title and ending Spain's run of 29 unbeaten matches in competitive football. The ball possession was 47% for Brazil and 53% for Spain, with two goals conceded in the first half of the match. Spain fared even worse in the 2014 FIFA World Cup a year later as they lost to both the Netherlands and Chile and failed to progress beyond the group stage. See also, Golden Team, Total Football, Football Tactics and Skills, Formation, References